NBC News foreign correspondent Matt Bradley joins us now from southern Lebanon. So, Matt, the IDF said it was able to intercept four of the rockets from Lebanon, but at least 10 of them fell into open areas within Israel. So are they launching counterattacks along Lebanon's southern border at this time? Yeah, we've heard that they're actually positioning tanks and they're firing back, but this has been going on for a couple of days now, ever since actually Sunday. And now we've heard that there were five people who have been killed. That's three Hezbollah members, two, excuse me, six people, three members of Hezbollah. That's the, uh, the Islamist uh, resistance against Israel group that's based here. They're Shia Muslim. They're also backed by Iran, like Hamas. And two members of Palestinian Islamic Jihad. That's a Gazan-based group. They were also killed when they crossed the border uh, and tried to infiltrate into Israel. The IDF said this, and the, and the Palestinian Islamic Jihad took credit for that. And one senior member of uh, the Israeli military was also killed. So now we've seen six deaths, all of them, were yesterday. Today, we haven't heard of any additional fatalities, but this is a ratcheting up of a conflict that has been simmering for several decades. Mm -hmm. Now, this part of the country hasn't really recovered from the last time Hezbollah and Israel got into a massive entanglement that really could be compared to a war uh, that has devastated this part of Lebanon. And there's a lot of fears here and in northern Israel that this could become a repeat. And, and Matt, just to, again, talk about the, the geography here, this is on the northern border of Israel. We've been talking all day about the southern area near Gaza, where there are troops, Israeli troops amassing, right, tanks and, and other uh, troops on the ground. I guess I wonder whether that will, will Israel now need to move more units to where you are, to the north, or do you not see that happening? No, they are. They already have, and they've been moving tanks up here, and it sounds as though they're already moving uh, other major military assets. The fact is, it's not just the northern border. It's also a different country. So that means if there were to be an outright war breaking out here, you'd be talking about Israel fighting against Lebanon, not just Israel fighting against the Palestinians in a Palestinian territory. That means you're internationalizing a conflict that would metastasize. It would grow so much, and it could drag in other countries. Now, both Hamas and Hezbollah are backed by Iran. So you could say that all of this has already been internationalized, but you guys can see how troubling that is, that a conflict that has already been raging and taken so many lives in Gaza and Israel could then involve yet another country. Mm. That would be devastating for the entire yeah. region. Yeah, well, for the world, potentially. NBC News foreign correspondent Matt Bradley, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.